Hi guys, welcome. So today I'm going to do a tutorial, an updated tutorial on how to use a hair curler. I had this video two years ago about how to use a certain hair curler, which is the Vivian Vogue third generation. And it gained a certain amount of views. It's actually my most popular video as of the moment. And you know what? Looking back, it's so outdated. I did that video or I filmed that video probably one or two weeks after buying that certain hair curler. So I don't really know much about it. And now, it's been two years since I had been using it. So I've gained enough knowledge about that hair curler. I bought it in the Philippines. So it's this one, I still have it. I brought it here in the United Kingdom. It's still in perfect condition. I have a short hair now and that's quite fun. I'm going to attach my photos here with my different hair lengths in which I used that certain hair curler. Yeah, I'm going to start now. Here is the the pouch. Here is the hair curler. I don't know how many voltage. Oh, it says 300 over 500 voltage. Actually, I'm not aware about the voltage thingy, but that's what it says. The, the cord is quite long. What do you call this? I don't know, but it's like, it looks like this. The adapter. It has this certain like comb attached to the hair curler. Your curling rod looks like this. So there's the rod. This one, this little thingy right here holds the hair. This two right here are the buttons you press to rotate on wherever um, side you want it to rotate. And we have here the power button. It turns the curling rod on. And when you press it again, it controls the, the heat of the curling rod. So the heat of the curling rod are 160 degrees Celsius, 180 degrees Celsius, and 200 degrees Celsius depending on your needs. It also stops it or turns it off when you long press it. That's basically how it works. So I already plugged it in and when you press the button, it should turn it off. It should turn it on and there's a blinking light and it automatically goes to 160 degrees Celsius for the heat age. When you want to higher the temperature, you can just press it again, it goes to the next level which is 180 and if you press it again, it goes to the highest level which is 200 degrees Celsius. I usually use it at 200 degrees Celsius because my hair is hard to curl. Usually, I part my hair, so I will curl this part. You put it over like that and then press the side on which you are curling. So it's the left side and it should... It's not... Yeah, it should do that. If you want to put, for example, a lot more here, you can just put, you know, like that. I leave it running for about 20 seconds. It actually depends on your hair. See, that's how it looks like. It's not that curly because my hair is so short. But yeah, <laughs> that's how it works. So again, over should be on the front and then just press it and it should come in that's how it looks like my hair is fairly short so if it happens to not come inside the curling rod just be patient with it so again just leave it for about 15 to 20 seconds, but actually it depends on your hair. If it's easy to curl, leave it a little less. And then if it's hard to curl, leave it longer. So again, just put it over. Make sure that everything is going inside. If you want to put more, you can just pause it. If you want to pause it, just press the button again. So pause and then press again for it to rotate see it's curled you know what i'm going to part this into three section but to be honest i can part it into whatever i'll part it like this i like curling the back part first so again over 
and then if it's quite thick you can pause click I mean you can pause rotate pause rotate you know just pause then rotate a little pause again rotate so that it doesn't come out of the, the curling rod that's what I try to do to avoid it from going out of the curling rod so once it's rotating once everything is inside the curling rod it usually rotates on its own it doesn't come out anymore even if it's thick it curls for a certain amount of time i'm not good with parting my hair guys i'm not like a professional hair curler so again on top and then press it slowly you can put some in while it's paused and then press it again put some in then press it again. Don't be scared of the curling rod. <laughs> be careful though because I had a burn on my thigh because I, because I left it on my bed and I was like, I moved and I burned myself. So just be careful. If the hair that you put inside the curling rod is thick, it will need a lot more time to curl so you can just add another five minute five seconds or ten seconds I believe and it should be fine. Anyway if you're not satisfied with the curl, if it's not that curled, you can break it down to smaller chunks and it should curl perfectly fine. See it's a lot easier than doing some effort rotating it by yourself so yeah. Anyway guys, it comes with this kind of like clip, so it, actually I don't use this, but it's still nice, it's still a nice freebie. To be honest, I'm not scared to leave it that long, as long as it does not exceed like 30 seconds, it should be okay, but it, again, it depends on your hair. On, and then just press the side that you're curling. This is how it looks like, but I like to curl it a little bit more, especially on this part. And I just let it stop for a while. Like that. As long as it's not like it's just an inch close to your hairline. That's fine. I like it like that. And this one also, I like it curled since I have a short hair. You can also hold it like this. I do this sometimes. Just be careful not to touch the... Not to touch it. See? It's a lot curler. And here also on the top because it usually doesn't reach it up to that. So just curl it like that. Oh. <laughs> this can be quite dangerous. It, it kind of requires certain amount of experience. <laughs> so it's a lot curler if you can see that. I like it curled up until the roots because it's a lot more natural and it looks fuller look at that it looks a lot prettier and the other side i curl it like this this is how it looks like now i look a lot older than i used to but I guess that's curl look like in short hairs. Mm, but yeah. This is how I curled my hair. With this little baby. <laughs> so, the overview of this video. Do I enjoy curling with that curling rod? Yes, I do. It's a lot easier than other curling irons or rod. Because you don't have to like curl it manually or like 
do some hand techniques to it. You just have to master the art of rotating it. So just practice, you'll get there. Don't be afraid <laughs> to, to practice. Just make sure to be careful. And I think it's really worth it because I, I can still use it perfectly after two years and I still enjoy using it. That's basically it. Um, it works well on long hair. On short hair, you just have to be a lot more patient with it because it usually goes out of the hair, but it still works perfectly. Yeah, um, that is really all. If you have any questions, you can just comment it down below and I'll try my best to answer. I will link the link of the product in the description and also my previous video two years ago. If you want to watch it, you can. Um, that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.